Hi guys, good afternoon. So this is Arlene from the Philippines and as you can see I'm outside today because I'm checking a 1.5 hectare farm lot located here in Padre Garcia, Batangas, Philippines. This property is ideal first because uh, it has a clean title and the seller is still very much alive and of course it's very close to Padre Garcia, Rosario, Batangas and as well even to Laia San Juan. Batangas. But first things first, let me thank all my subscribers for continuously supporting my channel. Thank you so much guys. Your continuous support, like, subscription, uh, commenting and as well buying properties only for me. Really help fun for my scholarship program for indigent high school and college students. So thank you so much guys. So let's check the property, okay? Okay guys, so this is 1.5 hectare property located in Padre Garcia, uh, Batangas, Philippines. And this property is actually located uh, along the provincial road. Okay, so this is the provincial road. And if you go straight over there, that will be San Juan Rosario Road, which is two kilometers away. And there's another route actually, if you go inside that side, that's going to... Uh, Padre Garcia or to San Antonio Quezon which is approximately 8 kilometers away and 18 kilometers away to Lipa City Batangas and of course this will be your immediate neighborhood so I am standing right actually along this provincial road and this is also access going to Padre Garcia and Lipa City and as I mentioned it's between 8 kilometers to Padre Garcia and 18 kilometers to Lipa and between 2.5 hours away to 3 hours away to Metro Manila. So as you can see, they are really into widening the road. Which means that you have easy access and the roads are brand new. So the property is actually here and it comes with the right of way. So the seller bought right of way which is 4 meter wide. So here... So if you can see the water line over here, it's 4 meter wide with a, with a length of 88 meter long. So the right of way is 88 meter by 4 meter. So let's go inside and check this one. So the right of way is directly attached to the provincial road. It's actually very good. So this property has a flat terrain and it is planted with some fruit bearing trees. And of course, what I really like this property, it's because it's part of Padre Garcia, which means that Padre Garcia is one of the emerging real estate markets. And they have a lot of developments, especially Sunny Homes, Batangas Techno Park, and the Equestrian Club here. So as you can see, this will be your another neighbor. So the elevation of this property is 70 meter above sea level. And of course, if you are a fan of beach, that is 35 uh, kilometers away from the Ia San Juan Batangas. So here, what you can see already over here, that is already the property. So let's go back. So if you can see all these mahogany, mahogany trees up to the side where you can see the electric post, that is the right of way. So 4 meter wide, that is actually very good. So water, electricity, and internet connections are available in this area. So that's the right of way and this will be your immediate neighbor. And as you can see, it's quite windy on this property. So over here, okay. So we have to check the borders of the property from this side first. So from here, from here up to this side, let's go and check. Oh, so from that side, that is approximately 10 to 12 meter long. So as you can see over there, so where we have the Madre cacao trees. So from this up to that, that's still part of the property it should be inside. And here you can see there are some barbed wires over here. So we just have to go straight because the shape of this property is rectangle, okay? So we are going here in that way. You can see the border. 
uh, let me stop and that way you can see how it really looks like so we got a sunny day today and that's it guys okay so that is the right of way so all these trees bordering that side and if you can see the coconut trees over there that is the border as well and that side with the mango trees and here this is still inside the property so 1.5 hectares or 15,000 square meter it's actually more than 15,000 square meter so I will I will put all the informations regarding this property in the description box so don't forget to check it out okay so luckily the caretaker actually cut some of this in that way we can really shoot the videos showing the borders of the property because that is very important so here so we have here this is the caretaker's house of course it's up to you whether you will absorb the caretaker or not and this is how house is actually still habitable you need to i think made some improvements out of it so over here you can see it's all bordered and here we go erwin is standing over here and here we have the the border stone okay so this is where the property ends over here and you can see there's a small pass over here this is actually the right of way but it only fits the scooter or it's only for people and over here ah, oh, i'm so fond of the word here sorry guys so here okay this is the right of way only for people and it has direct access as well to the provincial road so this is uh, actually the barangay hall of the barangay hall okay yeah so this is it so you have access to the road so they are into widening that's it guys so i showed you and that is the car and that is going to padre garcia batangas or to san antonio or the leaf pipe you like so let's go back so this property has two access points right so this one is for people it's up to you whether you want to use it or you want to close it and the other one is for the car that's four meter wide by 88 meter long okay so here that is uh, Irvine and Kuya caretaker so here we have the barbed wire and it's all already with a fence but of course you wanna improve it right so don't worry about the water you already have the water supply but if you like we can have the uh, water tank installed with, with the deep well okay so i have the guy especially for that one so here so we are walking along the border of the property and that way even you will not be able to see personally then you roughly you have an idea because a lot of my clients they are sometimes asking their relative to do the ocular inspection for them so in that way that is quite helpful so here we have to make a little bit detour because it's not maintained on that side so here we have some citrus trees okay and a few of the coconut trees actually i have one uh comment on my channel on this channel arlene Ivanovsky, and they are like saying arlene why are you showing us about the fruit bearing trees we are actually not interested on it guys a property without fruit bearing trees for me will not be considered a farm you know it will be just 
raw lands, right? So that's why we are selling farm lots because it's, it has some fruit bearing trees on it. And the caretaker is actually raising their own goats. Very nice, guys. Look at these cuties, right? I think babae lalaki siya, no? So we have a male and a female. The male is the one with the white spot. To my right, that's the male. Okay. And they have a lot of greens to eat over here. So here. So the borders actually of this property is already well, well established. So it's up to you whether you want to do another survey. So at your own cost, of course. So here, that's the border. And over here as well, it needs a little bit trimming. And here we have some acacia trees. It's actually perfect, guys. See, Irwin had a difficulty of going into. So we have. Okay. So we are getting close to the end of the property here. The terrain is quite flat. It's very flat actually. So here, this is where the property ends. So here, I will show you guys. So this is where the property ends. So that is the border. San Kuya. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Sorry, guys. That is... Sorry, luckily Kuya is here. So that is where the property ends. That is the big tree. Anong puno yung naputal dyan, Kuya? Uh, Antipolo. Antipolo, that's bad, yeah? That's a good tree. Saan yung bato? Okay. Sorry guys, so that is the real border, so up, up to this side, okay? And you can see, that is the neighbor's property, so that will be your neighbor. So from this big tree, a little bit more of that side, and over here, we have to go from here. So this tree is already included in the property. So the mango tree is not included in the property, okay? Just a reminder. In that way you will not get confused so over here just have to follow a straight line so here where i'm standing okay so mango tree is not included in the property so everything to the right and here everything to my left because i i already turned right so here where you can see the cow that's not part of the property and it's all over here very nice guys look it's a really a nice property so somehow it's a blank canvas in that way you have more possibility to plant what you really like in that way and as well you know there are existing some citrus uh some coconut trees some acacia i saw jackfruit as well so, but uh, there's still a lot of space for, for, you know, for your new project if you want to buy this property. Because for me, I really like this area where there are already some fruit bearing trees existing, but not full, you know. So, this is as well where the border is by the neighbor. So, you can see it's completely lined up. So, that is actually good. So in the beginning of the video, I showed you, you know, the coconut trees are not included. So they are really not included, okay? So up to, up to here. So the property ends right here. Okay, so that concrete post and here 
we have here the um, sticks, okay? The mahogany sticks. I know, madri cacao sticks. And just make a straight line, okay? So I'm gonna go this way. Very nice, guys. So look at this. Very nice, huh? So here, that's the border. And you have all this blank space. Very nice. I love it. So let's go and finish this one. So I think the main reason why the fruit bearing trees are not existing here anymore is because the owners allowed to have the cows grazed here. You know, it's actually bad, you know. The cows make make the soil not fertile for for the plants. So yeah. Ah, ako kuya. natin. Please not. So over here, we go on the and that way we can see. So this is one of the most complete tour of the farm lots I'm selling <laughs> because sometimes you know I don't have the energy or sometimes you know you cannot really go close to go closer to the borders because it's not possible but here it's actually quite possible so as you can see the borders of this property is quite established and i love this one this is a native guava tree and the birds also love this one and here we go so here that is also the border so from here that's the end okay from here and you just have to go straight and that way you establish your border here by the neighbor okay so this will be your frontage and you have to secure this so my recommendation will be like okay let, let me stay back a little bit that way we have an idea okay so from that point where you can see the tree up to that point where you can see the border to the house just make it a, a complete wall with a nice gate okay because that is your right of way and there you go it's very nice and then you have a nice property where it's actually flat terrain and of course the very good thing about this property is that the price is still very much affordable okay guys when i say that the price of this property is still very much affordable is of course it's because you know padre garcia um, <coughs> Padre Garcia Batangas is one of the emerging markets when it comes to real estate and of course a lot of people are taking advantage of it I'm not sugarcoating it actually so um, the the market value actually here is between 1,200 to 1,500 pesos per square meter that is for one five thousand uh, square meter up to I don't know two to three hectares and when it comes to a smaller cut it can be like around two five three thousand four thousand five thousand pesos per square meter but guys this property as I told you is quite affordable because this is 900 pesos per square meter or 13.5 million pesos so that's quite affordable considering it's very close to the provincial road and it's very close to the national highway and still you can consider this as close to metro manila because it's between 2.5 to uh, 3 hours away but for me you can you can easily do it like 2.5 as well once the uh, the bypass road or the bypass diversion road in bawi padu garcia because it's very close here and then you you will cut the travel time by half okay so if you are interested in this 1.5 hectare property by 900 pesos per square meter of course still negotiable this property is very ideal because the seller is still alive 
you have a, it, it has a clean title water electricity internet connections are all available and when you need a contractor you need water electricity i will take care of it don't worry i, I will be the one who will uh, process it and if you are interested in this property you can call me you can send message whatsapp telegram on my number 0917-6214090 or 0998-574-7194 uh, you can also check my Facebook page at Arlene Lewandowski or you can send message over there. Uh, I'm checking Facebook every day and WhatsApp, of course. So, yeah. Thank you so <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm not really feeling well. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank my subscribers, actually. And also, I consider them as my friends. Uh... I don't know whether they will agree to this. So thank you so much to my friend Ophel. So you know who you are for sponsoring one of the scholars in our scholarship program. And to Mr. and Mrs. Christensen, thank you so much. And more power to you. And of course, to my very dear friend from high school, Karyana Dross. Thank you so much. And as well to Miss, Miss and Miss. Miss and Mrs. I don't know well, the, the status like they are also my friends and they are supporting my scholarship program for the last two years. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Stay safe, guys. Have a nice day. Bye.